morning you guys today's wednesday and guess what this chick ain't got a job no more i got fired last night i'm just gonna tell you something that happened yesterday okay i mean let me let me start off with the beginning yesterday morning so i go in i was thirsty and there was nothing i wanted from the back vending machine so i decided to go to the front i got myself i think a mountain dew and i decided to just sit since the front the front um area was really warm and i didn't want to sit outside in the cold and wait um, because there was a training class going on. I didn't want to sit outside in the cold. So I was just sitting there mind my own business, la, 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 listening to music. And then this girl, she comes in, she looks at me and she goes into the, uh, the double doors where you go in and you get your paycheck and you also go there to be interviewed. And then she comes back out and as she was about to go out the door to leave, she just turned to me and she was like, did they hire you by the way? And I was like, yeah, they did. I've been working since last Monday. And she was like, oh, well, I got fired after my first day and I didn't even get a chance to get on the phones. And I was like, why would they fire you after your first day? That doesn't even make sense. On your first day, you fill out new hire forms. Like, are you serious? Like, you're not even on the phones. You're just looking at the script. They're explaining to you the job and what you got to do every day and how to respond to certain customers and stuff like that. Like, I was I was really confused as to how you can get fired off the first day. Like, there's nothing to happen for you to be fired off the first day. And she was like, oh, well, they just... You know, after the day was over, Cece pulled me to the side. And she was like, you know, I'm sorry, but this job is just not for you. And so I was sitting thinking to myself, are you serious? That's stupid. Why did they waste their time then? So anyways, <laughs> to speed along the day, I, my day went really well, um, except for the fact that only two people answered the phone. But one of the two people that answered the phone, I actually did manage to set an appointment with, which I was very excited. I was very proud of myself. Because it has been an extreme challenge because I'm the type of person where if you don't want something, I'm not going to push it on you. That's just, that's just, that's how I am. If you don't want something, I'm not pushing it on you. But I fought through it because with this job, you got to do it, right? I was proud of myself, all this shit. Next you know, at the end of the shift, I think her name is Nicole or whatever. She wanted to talk to me and another new girl. Another new girl, by the way, who started Friday. And so yesterday was her first day on the phones. So we go in there and she's like, you guys are not producing anything. And unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. And I was like, dude, I just got a fucking set. And the new girl, she just got a set on her first fucking day. Like, you got, I'm oh, sorry, first day on the phone. She just got herself a set. Like, are you serious? That dude, guys, that pissed me off a lot. But at the same time, I just wanted to hear what else she had to say. So the other girl that got fired, she got pissed. And she just started grilling this woman with questions. She was like, okay, first of all, they said that we had three weeks, okay? This is my first week on the phones. And I actually got the one set that I was supposed to get for this week. And she just went off. She basically just went off. And I was sitting there just listening, pretty much enjoying it and sipping my tea. You know, and, um, okay, I didn't have tea. I had coffee. I, I should not because I didn't sleep last night. But anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, the girl who basically had to let us down, uh, she just started swallowing pretty hard. And she looked like, <laughs> she looked like one of those people, you know, where, where you pretty much catch them in their lies. And they're just kind of looking at you like, what else do I say? What do I do? Oh my God, what do I do? What do I say? Yeah, that's pretty much the look on her face. And so now I I didn't say much because I was just like, I already knew I wasn't going to keep this job. I mean, I was going to try to hold on to it as much as I possibly can. I actually was technically looking for another one. I'm just going to be straightforward. I really was. I already knew I wasn't going to keep the job. I knew something was going to happen. I wasn't going to be able to keep the job. Usually when I struggle that hard, I don't keep the job. Okay. Um, but anyway, so <sighs> it was, it really, what, I understood why I would get fired, okay? Because I was supposed to make a set on Monday and I didn't. You have to make one, you have to make at least one a day in your training on the second week. And it was my second week and I didn't get anything Monday. So I could understand. But at the same time, they did say, it's, you have three weeks, don't worry about it. If you mess up in your first three weeks, it's okay. It's okay. So why do I get fired on my second week? I didn't even make it to the third week. Tomorrow we're supposed to have a big exam for the entire script. Like, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So I started to feel funny. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. I looked up the reviews, I think maybe Monday before I went to work, and the reviews were not good from customers and from people that used to work there, okay? Now, one person said something that at first I was just kind of like, well, I don't really care. But at, after last night, I realized, okay, this really matters. Um, basically, they were saying that the people that – Okay, this person, I think, ended up, was working there for a good four weeks, so a good month. And she was saying that every single week, the same people would be the ones getting the deals and all the other stuff. She's like, for some strange reason, they gave her all the old lists. 
And all the people that got bonuses are the same people that always get bonuses. Guys, I'm going to tell you this. When I did walk in there on the f- the second day, because the second day we actually were, we weren't, we were in the training room, but we were able to take a tour of the, the actual phone room. I saw the, the certificates and stuff for the same person. Just one name like 10 times and then like one other name. You know what I mean? So I was thinking, well, that person must be extremely good at what she does. And that's all I thought, really, you know? But last night I realized something. Okay, no, 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 no. The same people are getting the deals. I think because they're the ones that are actually getting the good lists. They're the ones that are getting the numbers that were never called while everybody else, the new people, are getting the list that were called 5,000 times when nobody answers the phone. And the few people that do answer the phone be like, take me off your calling list, click. Not even give you a chance to rebuttal or nothing like that. Because I'm going to tell you, if I tell you, not yesterday, because t- only two people answered yesterday, but all the other days that I was on the phone, the amount of people who said, you've been calling me, you've been calling me, and you've been calling me, I'm like, this is actually my first time calling you. What are you talking about? It was crazy. The numbers were high. And I did start thinking about what I saw. And I was like, I don't know. I feel funny about this, but I need a job. So I'm just going to go with it, you know? Now, I feel bad for specifically the girl that got fired after one day. I feel bad for the girl that was on her phones for the first time and actually got a set and ended up getting fired because she was not producing anything, which makes no sense because you don't know what she's producing until the next day. So you can make a set today, but you don't know if that's going to turn into a demo until the next day when they do verification calls. So I don't know. Uh, This company was a a complete bullshit. But last night while I was laying in bed, I thought about a lot of things. And I believe I've mentioned this already, uh, not in the video, but to a friend. There are companies that do get a bonus for every new person they hire, okay? And the person that was training us, I seriously thought only five people got hired. But then on Thursday of last week, there was a new training class. And I was thinking maybe for the morning shift. Friday, a new training class, new faces. Monday, a new training class. Yesterday, I went in, new faces again. I'm like, how many people are we training? I'm like, do we have other departments, other buildings, like... Are we in a bunch of different places? And I realized something. They're just hiring all these people so they can get a $1,500 bonus for every person that they hire. That's what they're doing. That's where they're getting their actual money from because a lot of people aren't actually buying the water system because a lot of people already have a water softener. A lot of people are okay with their water being filthy. A lot of people are okay with the city checking their water and not actually cleaning it. Like A lot of people don't give a fuck about the water system, about the water softener. I care about a water softener. I just know I ain't going to buy from this company. I care about a water softener. But... I don't know. It was, I, I, I kind of felt that way. And I was like, you know what? The only reason why, why they're just hiring everybody is because they get that $1,500 bonus. And if they don't like you, you're going to get fired probably either the first week, first day or within the first three weeks at some point. So you guys, I'm really sorry. I rambled on for eight whole minutes. Um, but I really need to get this on my chest. This is just so you guys know what's going on. I lost my job, but it's okay because today I'm actually going out. And I am going to be looking for another job. Um, I'm going to be going to that place. That first lady that I bumped into who got fired on the first day, she did talk about another place that she did get a job at, literally across the street. They do the same thing, but it's for an insurance company. And it's for $9 an hour. And she said it's much better. People are not, you know, you don't get attacked, basically, if you don't get a deal the next day or something like that. That, I mean, that's what she was saying. Is she Apparently, she's been doing it for a little bit. So I don't know. You guys, I, I don't know. I have to go out today. I have a bus pass finally, so I'm going to take advantage of my bus pass and I'm going to go all over the city today. I need to find myself something stable because I got to move out February 28th. This is ridiculous. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my long ass video and I will see you in the next one.